Good evening investors, my name is Louis from the COSEC research team. Today is Wednesday the 15th of December and here is your market wrap. Today our market raised all its gains it made throughout yesterday's trading day, consistently declining from the close this morning and ending 0.75% lower at 7,331. Tech shares bore the brunt of the losses after the Nasdaq fell more than 1% overnight and this potentially shows some de-risking ahead of tonight's US Federal Reserve meeting where the final policy decision for the year will be made. Nonetheless, today's top performers from the ASX 300 were Strike Energy, Iron Ear, and Virgin Money UK. In company news, Fortescue Metals has today signed a major deal with Gabin Iron in the west of Africa to develop a 5,500 square kilometre iron ore tenement in a region known for its high grade iron ore deposits. Fortescue shares are now trading 24% higher than their two month lows at $18.64 per share at the close. In a tough year for travel, corporate travel management has flagged a potential $175 million acquisition of Hello World's corporate travel segment. And finally, Insignia Financial Management has today warned of regulatory action being taken against one of its businesses, particularly One Path Custody. ASIC alleges that 4.2 million in incorrect fees were charged to client accounts. Two commodities ahead of the Fed's meeting tonight, gold has dropped over the last 24 hours to 1,770 per ounce, while the US dollar strengthens slightly. The price of oil has not yet been able to hold on to its 200-day moving averages. It fell 0.7% today, below the 70 US dollar mark. Two currencies, the Australian dollar has held on to the 71 cent mark today, while Bitcoin and Ethereum both jumped 2% each at 48,000 and 3,850 US dollars, respectively. This market wrap has been brought to you by COSEC, Kadari Securities.